In this video, I will determine the irreducible representations of the vibration modes of a acetone molecule. So first, let's look at this acetone molecule. If I use this two blue spheres to represent the two methyl groups, it's very clear to see this acetone has a C2V point group. There's a C2 principal axis here, there's a sigma V, and there's a sigma V prime. And then we'll have to use the character table of the C2V point group. So how do we use this? First, let's count the total number of atoms here. We have a total of 10 atoms. And then let's do some symmetry operations uh, on this uh, acetone molecule. First, we'll do this E operation. This E stands for uh, identity operation. That means doing nothing. If we do nothing, all 10 atoms remain in their original positions. Therefore, we'll put a number 10 here. And then C2 uh, here stands for the uh, uh, rotation about the principal axis by 180 degrees. So if we rotate this acetone molecule about this C2 axis, uh, how many atoms will remain in their original positions? Only two, this carbon and this oxygen. This methyl group will be rotated to here, and this methyl group will be rotated to here. So therefore, we put a number two here. Now, sigma V, sigma V, let's look at this sigma V. Sigma V actually by sects this CO double bond. So over here is sigma V. Sigma V is perpendicular to the screen. And then if we do a reflection about sigma V, again only two atoms remain in their original positions, the carbon and oxygen. So we'll put a number two here. So what about sigma V prime symmetry operation? If we do a sigma V prime symmetry operation, again, we'll do this uh, sigma V prime. Uh, the sigma V prime plan is on the screen, which contains actually six atoms. This CO and then this C, this H, this C and this H. So a total of six atoms will remain in their origin positions after a sigma V prime symmetry operation. Therefore, we'll put a six here. And then we look up the characters of X, Y, and Z for X, Y and Z. If we look at this uh, E operation, X plus Y plus Z, the sum of the three characters is three, so we put three here. And C2 operation, minus one plus minus one plus one, so we get a negative one here. Okay, sigma V, one plus negative one plus one, and then we get one here. And then finally, sigma V prime, minus one, one, and one. Again, uh, which characters should you uh, use? You use the ones correspond to x, y, and z. And therefore, again, this one correspond to x minus 1, 1 uh, from, for y, and then this one for z. So in total, we have a positive 1 here. And then we do a simple multiplication. You do this number times this number. And you get 30 here under the e column. And then we drag it from left to right. We have this four numbers. And then we multiply these four numbers by the number of symmetry operations in each column. Uh, in here, is, it just turns out that in each column, the number of symmetry operation is just one. So this four numbers multiplied by this four numbers, uh, we got this four numbers. And then this four numbers uh, should be multiplied by the character ta uh, characters in each of the four rows. So for example, this 30 should be multiplied by this one, and then I hit enter here to accept the result. And then I drag it from left to right to fill out this entire row. And then I drag it all the way down. And then to fill out the other rows. Again, if you look at this one, this is B dollar 13, which is this one times B7. B7 is the character of this B2 irreducible representation under this E column. And if you uh, click uh, maybe just another one, uh, which is just this two multiplied by this negative one here. All right, so we got this uh, uh, four numbers uh, in each row, and then we just sum up the four numbers in each row. So the sum of these four numbers is given here, and then we drag it down to get all the 
uh, four sums that correspond to the four irreducible representations. And then we need to look at the order of this character table. So how do we determine the order of the character table? Uh, it's very simple. Basically, you just have this. Uh, you just uh, identify this uh, uh, E column, which is uh, just uh, identity column. And you see these uh, characters. You, uh, you square uh, every character, and then you sum it up. So basically, just one squared plus one squared plus one squared plus one squared. So if you click here, uh, uh, well, you can just enter equals this guy squared. And then you sum it up, you get a four. The order of this C2V character table is four. There's another way to uh, get the order of the character table, which is to count the number of symmetry operations. Uh, in this case, you have just one plus one plus one plus one. You get a total number of four symmetry operations. Uh, therefore, the order is four. And then we do a division. We have this sum divided by the order, and we double click. This is the equation I used, and then we drag it down. All right, and then we sum up the four numbers. Look, we have a total of 30 different irreducible representations that uh, correspond to the 30 motions of this acet acetone molecule. Why 30 motions? So we have 10 atoms, and each atom can move in the x, y, and z direction. So therefore, there are a total of uh, 30 uh, motions. And then if we look at the uh, acetone molecule as a whole, uh, the entire acetone molecule may translate in x, y, uh, and z direction. The entire acetone molecule may rotate about the x, y, and z axis. Therefore, we need to subtract this 30 irreducible representations um, by we need to subtract the uh, translations and rotations from this 30 irreducible representations. So we look them up. Uh, the translation of the entire molecule uh, can also be found here, x, y, or z direction. How about rotation? Look for r sub x, r sub y, and r sub z. So therefore, the translations correspond to b1, b2, and a1. The rotations correspond to uh, B2, B1, and A2. So really, we just need to uh, subtract 1A1, 1A2, and 2B1. There are two of those, and 2B2. So we need to subtract this number by 1. We need to subtract 1 here, subtract 2 here, subtract 2 here. So we get 8A1, 4A2, 5B1, and 7B2 vibrational modes. So in the end, we have a total of uh, three translational modes, three rotational modes, and 24 vibrational modes. Uh, their irreducible representations include 8A1, 4A2, 5B1, and 7B2.